my brothers and sisters in Christ, there's a sweeping lie uh, that has been pacing through Christendom that have believers believing that they can walk any kind of way, live any kind of way, speak any kind of way, follow whomever they will, even though they are full of wickedness and unrighteousness, and say to themselves that God understands. Beloved, there are many believers today, and I use that term loosely, that have allowed their conscience to be seared with a hot iron, and yet they make the claim that God is with them. Beloved, they have been seared and have been pulled away from the righteousness of God. Their conscience have lost all sensitivity. They look upon other humans as chattel, as literally animals. They speak of murder, lies, as though that a part of their daily life. And they believe that somehow God condones that. The Word of God says in 1 Timothy, the fourth chapter and the first verse, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart, get this beloved, depart from the faith. When a person depart from the faith, that means they have left the faith. That means that they are faithless. Jesus Christ said, will there be faith on the earth when the Son of Man return? It takes faith in order to believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. So, beloved, if there is no faith and one has departed from faith, that means that person is faithless. And there will never ever be a faithless person that will enter the presence of God or will abide in eternal life. Beloved, we have been lied to. I believed that lie at one time, that you can live your life like you want, but just simply believe and you are okay. Or just say with your mouth and so-called believe with your heart that Jesus Christ died for my sins. Beloved, that is a ticket to get in. But that ticket is invalid without faith. Amen? So, beloved in Christ, the Word of God says, Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. And this is men and women who have been connected and directed by seducing spirits and those spirits is sharing things with people and people are following those seducing spirits while they follow man who is full of the spirits of the devil. The word of God says, and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, calling other people liars while they are lying, calling other people murderers while they are a murderer, 
calling other people rapists while they are rapists themselves? Beloved in Christ, this is what the Word of God is establishing. And he said, they speak it lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Beloved in Christ, you can have your conscience seared away from truth. But God always keep the door open for return. That once again, your conscience can have sensitivity. Don't let man convince you to lose your sensitivity of your conscience just to follow him or her. Beloved in Christ, many have walked that way. And without realizing it, nor recognizing it, they have actually rejected God and rejected His salvation. Beloved, don't believe the lie that is being perpetrated out there today. Just believing that the Lord is with you when you know that you live a life contrary to his word that you follow those who live blasphemously and contrary to his word they invoke lies they invoke violence and they care not about the souls of men beloved in Christ flee flee and have your conscience reinstated before God beloved in Christ may the Father open up your heart to his understanding in the name of Yeshua Jesus the Christ